Inside the shadow of Geneva, under the world's surface, lies a marvel of human innovativeness and a normal harbinger of decimation, the Goliath Hadron Collider, LHC. This machine is a remarkable gadget for specialists, enabling them to focus on subatomic particles and uncover the perplexing god molecule, the Higgs boson. Eminent physicist Brian Cox has offered a chilling articulation that has mixed wonder all through laid-out scientists, suggesting that something major has been found at CERN, with suggestions past our ongoing comprehension. Prior to hopping into the repercussions of Cox's declaration, it is crucial to get a handle on how the huge Hadron Collider capabilities. By CERN, the LHC is a 17-mile ring of superconducting magnets and the world's most impressive molecule smasher. It remains as a pinnacle of human achievement, equipped for copying the states of the universe's creation. This titanic machine permits us to open the mysteries of the universe, uncovering something genuine and possibly troublesome. CERN, laid out in 1954, is one of the world's most well-known research organizations, containing 23-part states and a huge swath of trained professionals. The LHC is CERN's central task, however, it is only one piece of a huge organization of gas pedals and finders that investigate the subatomic world. The LHC speeds up protons to practically the speed of light, emulating the energy of the universe at the hour of the huge explosion. The ensuing effects make temperatures a large number of times more sultry than the sun's center, with a perplexing game plan of magnets directing the protons on their excursion while cutting-edge cooling frameworks keep the magnets at temperatures colder than space. The LHC's plan is a designing wonder, working profound underground and safeguarded from inestimable radiation. The whole ring is cooled to a temperature lower than the vacuum of room, which is fundamental for the superconducting magnets to work. Influences happen at four focuses along the gas pedal ring, each relating to one of the four principal molecule indicators, MAP book, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. These finders catch the result of crashes, permitting researchers to filter through the garbage looking for the tricky Higgs boson, a molecule key to figuring out the universe's construction. The LHC isn't just a logical instrument, yet a demonstration of human innovativeness and goal. It addresses our mission for information and our longing to get a handle on the crucial powers molding our universe. Notwithstanding, as we stretch the boundaries of our comprehension, we should likewise consider the moral and existential inquiries that emerge. What are the risks of investigating the unexplored world? Might our journey for greatness accidentally release powers uncontainable to us? Inside the consecrated lobbies of CERN, where the limits of human information are continually extending, a disclosure has arisen that has sent shudders down the spines of even the most prepared researchers. Brian Cox, a previous specialist at CERN and a regarded voice in molecule physical science, as of late expressed something that is both dumbfounded and scared standard scientists. The goal of CERN's colossal Hadron Collider is to duplicate a little form of the enormous detonation, the occasion that birthed our universe. Cox likewise featured the possible results of this goal, noticing the LHC's capacity to make new peculiarities, including uncovering the Higgs boson and study dim matter, a substance that makes up a critical part of the universe's potential. The chance of repeating a little enormous detonation isn't simply a hypothetical idea, it is a substantial reality inside the LHC. The circumstances inside the collider reflect those that existed at the universe's starting point, permitting scientists to notice the rise of presence itself. In any case, with such power comes extraordinary obligation and expected risk. Consider the situation where something veers off track. In 1978, Russian physicist Anatoly Borodin encountered a mishap at the Organization for High Energy Physical Science in Russia, where an error made his head crash into a proton pillar, bringing about serious wounds. In spite of this, Borodin made do and proceeded with his work, featuring the gigantic power and possible risks of molecule gas pedals. The dangers related with a molecule smasher, like the LHC, are not to be trifled with. The potential for unanticipated responses and the control of the actual texture of the truth are genuine worries voiced by some in laid-out research. 
One significant apprehension encompassing the LHC's analyses is the chance of making miniature dark openings, areas of space-time, with such solid gravitational draw that not even light can escape. On the off chance that the LHC were to create such an element, even on a restricted scale, it might actually consume the Earth from the inside. Nonetheless, CERN researchers have guaranteed the public that any dark openings made would disseminate rapidly. Understanding how the LHC could make a dark opening includes the central mechanics of molecule gas pedals. At the point when protons are crushed together at almost the speed of light, the energy is huge to such an extent that it could twist the texture of space-time itself. Envision a trampoline extended tight with a significant burden dropped onto it. The surface would twist, and on the off chance that the weight were adequate, it could make an opening. This relationship represents the LHC's capability to produce a gravitational irregularity. This intriguing yet disrupting probability has even grabbed the eye of noticeable physicists like the late Stephen Selling. In his works, Selling cautioned that the Higgs boson could become temperamental at very high energy levels, possibly causing a horrendous vacuum rot, an occasion that could decimate the universe. Famous cosmologist Sir Martin Rees has likewise communicated worries about collider tests, including those at CERN, in his book Our Last Hundred Years. He returns to the potential gamble variables of collider tests, including the production of vacuum flimsiness. This unsteadiness could speculatively set off a stage progress that would resonate through space-time, causing a calamity of incomprehensible scale. While these situations remain exceptionally speculative, even a slim possibility warrants serious thought. The stakes are unbelievably high, and the edge for mistake is razor slender. Explicit scientists have fastidiously evaluated the potential risks related with their examinations and carried out various well-being conventions and protections to alleviate any possible dangers. Logical investigation intrinsically includes a degree of vulnerability, particularly while wandering into obscure domains. The quest for information has forever been joined by gambles, yet this excitement to push limits has driven human progression. The LHC addresses the climax of many years of logical advancement and worldwide cooperation. Be that as it may, underneath its great outside lies a space of significant logical requests loaded up with likely risks and moral contemplations. The Collider's essential objective of disentangling the secrets of molecule material science has prompted crucial disclosures, including the slippery Higgs boson. By and by, the monstrous energies created inside its limits additionally raise worries about the likely critical results of such an undertaking. While broad well-being measures are set up to alleviate gambles, the chance of disastrous occasions, like the making of smaller-than-usual dark openings or other unanticipated inconsistencies, can't be completely precluded. As researchers keep on pushing the limits of our comprehension, moving toward these examinations with a sharp consciousness of likely results and a guarantee to straightforwardness and public discourse is pivotal. The LHC, with its unrivaled capacities and potential for critical revelations, remains as a demonstration of human inventiveness and the determined journey to grasp the essential laws of the universe. In any case, underneath its shocking facade lies an area of significant logical requests loaded up with expected gambles and moral contemplations. The collider tests tap into energies and powers that are outside the ability to understand of most laypeople. The effect of subatomic particles at close light velocities makes conditions much the same as those that existed in the universe's earliest minutes, permitting scientists to test the principal building blocks of issue and investigate the actual texture of space-time. However, the monstrous energies engaged with these impacts likewise present huge risks, both known and obscure. One of the most squeezing concerns encompassing the activity of the Huge Hadron Collider is the conceivable making of little dark openings or other charming peculiarities that could have unexpected outcomes. While hypothetical models recommend that any such dark openings would be transient and represent no danger to Earth or its occupants, the gamble of accidentally releasing wild powers stays alarming. Moreover, the sheer scale and intricacy of the trials directed at the Collider require careful security conventions and oversight to limit possible risks. 
The worldwide local area of scientists and specialists engaged with the Collider's activity is very much in the know about the need to focus on well-being and guarantee that all tests are led with careful scrupulousness and obligation. The Huge Hadron Collider, with its capacity to bewilder and challenge how we might interpret the texture of the truth, isn't just a wonder of present-day designing yet additionally a focal center of contemporary physical science and cosmology. Its essential objective, to test the crucial particles that contain the universe, has critical ramifications for how we might interpret presence. The LHC empowers researchers to reproduce conditions only minutes after the enormous detonation, giving a special chance to concentrate on the Higgs boson and other key particles. The Higgs boson, frequently alluded to as the God molecule, was conjectured in 1964 by Peter Higgs and others as an urgent pardo.